Getting ready for the first sap. Hi, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is the Kerbin Space Station, and it needs to be saved because it wobbles itself to death. And it is either because of the big tanks to the side with their SAS fighting the, the main SAS, or it's because of the Giganto XL solar rays adjusting themselves to the sun and that creating too much torque. And because of that, we're sending a new ship to be docked to this here. And we will uh, adjust a bit about the station. And that's the, uh, the thing we built in the last episode, which will bring new other solar panels and uh, will bring the tanks to be in a line rather than attached to the sides. <clears throat> For that, I placed the rover here, which will bring more science up too. So uh, we're ready to launch that vessel. And this is our vessel that we're gonna start towards the KSS. It's ready and set upon the launch pad. I added, after the ending of the last episode, I added these two science experiments because they uh, they are new and we want to make uh, to make use of them Oop. wrong one wrong one right one I uh, want to make use of them uh, in uh, the atmosphere at low atmosphere and high atmosphere and in the orbit to see what additional data they offer And for now, we have this science rover that I built extra for this, uh, which we I sent around off screen uh, to uh, all the biomes that are here, which are 12 different biomes directly here, because all the KC stuff caused, uh, is, uh, is being counted as different biomes. And we're now ready to transfer the data from this experiment storage unit oh. to the one that's attached to the craft. Come on. Don't tell me it's too high up. Take the data, all 120 experiments. Those are crew reports and EVA reports and surface samples and atmospheric analysis and gravioli detectors and seismic experiments and pressmet experiment uh, pressure experiments and temperature and goo and science lab. Wow, that was a lot. Yeah, all those experiments are are here from all the twelve biomes. Ten experiments per biome, and we are putting it here. And we're ready to return back to the science rover and drive it a few meters away. So it can be recovered in a second then. But... For now, let's just uh, retract that ladder and let it roll back a bit. So that it doesn't stand here when the rocket boosters fall down. As we are, will be, we will be lifting off in a direction of 90 degrees. This is no problem and we can just stand here if it will stop at some point. Yes, it does. Screen messages. Cannot deploy part that is not part of the server. Cannot deploy part. Cannot deploy part. I have no idea what that was. But now my science is in, in this little thing down here, which will transfer the data to... We can't transfer it to the cupola because it's uh, hidden. 
as I thought. So we had to transfer it to this one, which has now 120 stored experiments. <clears throat> For ascent, we want to uh, want to pin us this conf uh, this thing, this thing, and this thing. And we are ready for our ascent. We will now make a quick save that we won't quick save over. I hope I don't forget that because the station might disassemble itself the moment I get to it. And in this additional thing, we have to look where the station is. Because for once I'm thinking about that. The station is on the other side of the planet, so we'll have to wait until it comes around. So what I'm doing here is I'm fast forwarding and I'm waiting until it's like 400 kilometers away. I set it as target to have this, uh, this show up here at all. Can't, can we see it? No, not really, but let's just go and start. Okay, getting ready for the first step. And we have to quick load. I did add the hydraulic attachment manifold because I thought it would help to have the uh, heavier decoupler here, but this might have been a mistake. So let's try this again without losing our ship this time, please. Please, without losing our ship this time. We have, we're missing it by 80 kilometers. Okay. Okay. So now it's 1.1 kilometers away. Uh, we saw it for a second, it's over there. So we don't want to point over there, so it's somewhere else when we get rid of our lower stage. We are now without any... Uh, without any uh, engine. But we can toggle our RCS. And now I will... Whoop, my microphone is in the way. I will go into the other mode. So we will point ourselves towards the target with this thing. Control from here. Thank you. We'll point ourselves towards the target. And we'll want to go in that direction. So H. H. Good case. K is up, J is left, J is left, uh, N is down, no, N is away, uh, K is down. Where is my stupid radical pointing? H is supposed to be towards target, yeah. N is away, yeah. And then we have J for left, K. K for up and not down, because always changing the sides. Yeah, I'm stupid. Do burn until we're like... Coming 10, 10 meters per second in. I'm now with both hands on my keyboard, by the way. Okay, so in 100 seconds we're supposed to be very close to the station. <clears throat> uh, this is way better to aim with this. I just need to stop fat fingering the wrong button every now and then. We know no way to hit it, so I'll use retrograde thrust and a lot of it once we are within like 200 meters. 
I have to to make some maneuvers, ensuring that we would hit it if we would uh, go past it, because we're drifting away from it a bit because we have different orbits still. Trying to align myself better so that away from it is n and has not another cardinal direction in it. Now we have to wait. I could warp now, but I'm afraid to over warp time and crash into the station. That's why I'm not warping now. So we're within 200 meters. So let's come to a dead stop. That's the wrong one. I uh, want to come to dead stop, please. I would like to come to a dead stop, please. This did make it disappear, but not completely go down to zero. Where is the prograde? We don't have a prograde. Okay, so let's align to the target again. Let's try to go towards the target with a low speed. I know that I'm wasting a lot of RCS now. My decision to go completely without any help from engines. But this is an exciting moment. Once I'm within 50 meters, I'll come to a dead stop again. dead stop again. We can now change stations to this one. That's the debris. Where's the other one? Can't see the right... Where is it? Where's the target? Must be over there. I'm not seeing it. It's like there. <laughs> it's completely in the dark. Set the target. Control from here. Trying SAS on. And moving the ship towards that. So that we look at it. Also, we were gonna retract all the solar panels. We're in the dark regardless. Yeah, let's look how much torque the these stupid solar panels do. I think it's the solar panels, not the big ones, not the the big tanks. Whatever. Let's go towards this. We are now almost aligned. I want to check the... Take that as target. I think it auto took it as, as target. Perfect. So uh, we're ready to, to do this again. 0 0.3 meters edit. Uh, exactly towards that. Align ourselves better. 
and go up. Yeah, it must be the Giganto Solar Rays. In combination with the things going out sideways. I'll fast forward to you, you to when we are within two meters. And this should work. And we have it. Toggle the whole SAS out. Wait for 10 seconds for the contract to fulfill. And the contract is fulfilled. You have finished constructing the necessary additions on the station Kerbin Space Station. And we get 90,000 for this to pay for this. So now we have. I didn't do the experiments because I didn't think of them and I removed the container. I got rid of all my experimental data. Mm. 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 Okay, that's way stupid. Oh god, how much time did I waste? How much time did I waste on the stupid 120... Uh, 120 data experiments, oh no! Okay, you've seen how it works. I'm going to do this again. See you after the station construction is complete. But this time with the data then. Okay, and the first coupling goes now. Please. First coupling goes now. 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 And we have coupled it. We wait for 10 seconds for the contracts contract to fulfill again. That was the contract. So now. Um we would already be safe to transfer these 125 stored data that I totally put in there the first time. So with the 120 plus the five extra experiments we did on the send, we would now be ready to, to bring it here. But okay, so um, I'm gonna aim my camera at this because I want to be in this part when it detaches. Um, Undock this part. Yeah, we are in this part of the station. We can toggle our SAS and RCS on. We're controlling from here for the time being. Control from here. Control from here. And we go away a bit. Yeah, we already are uh, slanted. Great. Uh, this. No, not the inline stabilizer. That clampertron will be our target. We go away from it. In a straight line, most prominently. Okay. So we're now going away from it with 0 0 0.2 meters per second. This is now... Okay. We are controlling from here for the moment because I don't know the angle at which is this, this is attached. But I know that now E and Q should be the thing to move this around. Of course, our center of mass is not in the middle in regards to uh, where we dis where we attach, so it's not there. <laughs> it's obviously somewhere like here, and that's the point we're tilting about. But if we're tilting about 180 degrees, we should be coming back to right where we started. Uh, this is one of the games that wants me to stick my head behind uh, behind my mic to see more of the screen, which will get you some weird audio glitches every now and then.
Se kui mi... Hey! So I want to go like... Along with E. Ah, okay. Thank you. This shows me that this is the com uh, the correct direction. Set as target. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, and what I read in the internet that the Giganto solar rays are what causing the bullshit. is exactly what happened here, I think. So this is now stable like this. We're not producing electric charge here, so... Um, hmm. Let's extend those solar panels for now. So the electric charge is filling again. I almost forgot about that. We'll have to wait a second. This is just 50 meters. This can be 100 meters. That's not really problematic. I mean, I could change to this one, which we want to control from here. We are adjusted to target almost. Ooh. No. No. Toggle the SAS off. Oh god. Oh god! Are these on? They're disabled. Let's toggle them on. Try this again. Oh god! You are a problem, my friend. You're a problem, my friend. You are wobbling like crazy. Now RCS. Uh, forward, forward. That way, that way, that way, that way. Forward, 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 that way, 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 that way. It's wobbling. Okay, it's the SAS. Fuck you, SAS. It's because the, the tank's SAS was supposedly activated when we are wrong direction, that direction, and we want to go there. Whew. Okay. I'm feeling the problem. I'm feeling the problem. Okay. So, um, I think I'll have to say goodbye to the idea of a refueling station. So we're doing something differently here. Um, we'll be controlling from here. Uh, which will go uh, H. Until we're pointing away. And we're gonna not... DSAS. Wanna turn retrograde but without RCS support. Yeah. I'm getting rid of the tanks. These tanks are what causing the problem and not the other thing. So we are getting rid of this big mess. So we also saw the talk uh, 
that was applied by... Okay, we are almost stable here. Okay. So now we are... Uh, wrong side. Undock. We are still controlling from here. Uh, which RCS can now be on again. Uh, RCS can now be on again. Go away from that. You can fly over there. This is our target. We will control from here now. We will turn around. Oop. That's a bit too much. Okay. And we'll do this again. I see you when I've uh, I've dealt with both the containers and docked myself uh, to the lower part of the station. <laughs> And there we are in our last docking maneuver. I'm showing you off where the other things are. The tanks are over there and over there. But now we're here, docking to the Kerbin sta Space Station, which has still one solar panel extended. God, I think I need to have the SAS to not almost steer this. But this should work. This should perfectly work. Both ships have their SAS disabled, have their RCS disabled. This should just cling to each other. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That, this was a bit of steep of an angle. Look at it, how they, uh, how they play with each other before they kiss. Isn't that nice? Okay, so we have lots of solar panels here. Uh, electric charge is going down. That's the uh, scientific mobile lab here. And we have a lot of signs to go through. Review stored data. A gravity scan from just above Kerbin's shores adds 125 data to the lab. So this is what the Gravioli detect detector always uh, tells you if you're using it on Kerbin on ground. It says, it seems to think it's being calibrated. And uh, this is what the atmospheric thing always says. Temperature and pressure regarding uh, readings suggest today is a good time for, for flying as any. As good ta a time for flying as any. And this is the alternative text for the Gravioli detector on Kerbin. After reading the manual for a few times, the command team is able to take an accurate reading of the local gravity. And this is where the big science is again. Uh, atmosphere analysis while flying over Kerbin shores. From the upper atmosphere over Kerbin's waters. Gravity scan from above Kerbin's water and grassland. The sen sensor finds subtle changes in the gravity field of Kerbin. The science team will want to see these readings. So gravity is higher if there's more ground uh, beneath you, between you and the core of the planet. We're going to retract this as I think they, uh, that thing did also cause trouble. So you will autostrad to the root part which I hope the root part is now this. Can you autostrat to the root part? Yes, you can. Okay, so these are now autostratted to this. Maybe that helps uh, this situation being more nice. So, the scientific lab, we got enough data in to make the scientific lab exactly full. So, when you get all data from all around the ground in Kerbin and some data of the atmosphere you exactly fill one processing lab. Wow, there was no experiment left out. We got all of them in, we now do 10 science per day. This is way better. We don't have a refueling station anymore, but this station is now a proper scientific station with lots of solar panels, the small ones now. Uh, so this 
mission was a success and can be quick saved. Let's go into through this track, tracking station to get rid of all the uh, tanks flying around. Thankfully, they have a kill switch. I'm bidding kill switches into everything that I'm bidding here. So we have the Kerbal Space Station ship. And the Kerbal Space Station ship. And the KSS Rescuer Mark 1 Debris. That can be terminated. That's my last stage. And then we have the Kerbin Space Station ship. Terminate. And the Kerbin Space Station ship. Terminate. And the rest is the Kerbin Space Station, which has now been in orbit for, four, uh, for 57 days. And I'm thankful that I don't have a mod installed that has, uh, has the problem of... Um, how do you call it? Ooh, that adjusted orbit is a thing that I can do. Uh, which direction are you flying? You're flying this direction. So from you to you is actually not a long time off. And the apoapsis is on, uh, on the same thing. This is actually a thing we can do with little to no... Uh, little to no... Uh, little to no work but we'll have to look at it in regards to do you have fuel left no 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 you don't have any fuel left so i can't take that mission that was important for me okay so the science station will now produce what did i say 10 signs per day so we can check back every now and then and in 25 days, we should have enough to get from our 300 signs that we have now to 550, which I want because I want the heavy, uh, the heavy, uh, um, the heavy wheels before going for my contracts that involve scanning with the huge scanner, scanning arm. So uh, let's just land a normal mission on Minmus again, but this time without the uh, the rover attached to it, the small one. Yeah, okay, that's another thing we can do. Uh, so I'm landing on Minmus again. I don't think you have to see that. So uh, we will. I will do another Minmus landing with another Minmus lander off screen, and I'll be back with you when I have enough uh, have accumulated enough science to get the heavy wire, uh, wheels, so with that we can go for uh, for the rover drop for the moon for the heavy rover for the moon and Minmus. Also, uh, my crashes weren't caused by uh, the Kerbal alarm clock, but uh, by something else. So I could activate this again. Uh, so this is the interesting thing. Uh, we'll have uh, a window to go to Moho in 42 days, which is a great thing because I want to send a communication relay there. And also we see that the Kerbin Duna window opens before the Kerbin Eve window, but we have an Eve mission. So, uh, hmm, this will be a bit problematic. Okay, the science Shiza uh, could be recovered, but I could uh, go f drive around and get like 20 signs out of it. No, let's, ju let's just recover it. Got our funds back, uh, mid midroom and blisters back. No problem, so it doesn't stand around there like a goof all the time. Okay, so I'm seeing you tomorrow with uh, with uh, the heavy wheels and um, ready to uh, get the large rover running. Have a nice day, see you then. Mm -hmm.